we are looking at an observer and the observer is looking around and what the observer sees is the sky and the horizon. The horizon is a line between the sky and the earth. So this constitutes the horizon of the observer. Now it appears to be a circle because the observer sees equally far away in all directions. So it's an illusion but uh, it sure looks real to the observers. When the observer looks at the horizon, he sees the horizon is zero degrees. And so this constitutes the zero degrees at the horizon. You don't always see the zero degrees because most of the time there's a building or trees or something in front of the observer. Now this is about 30 degrees above the horizon. These are called altitude of the objects above the horizon. This would be a 60 degree altitude, 90 degree altitude is at the zenith, that's the highest point in the sky. And so um, the observer sees zenith at an altitude of 90 degrees. Now this observer is looking at this red star first and he notices the red star is about 45 degrees above the horizon. He sees another star yellow star at the zenith. This yellow star is 90 degrees above the horizon. So the altitude of a yellow star is 90 degrees above the horizon and the red is 45 degrees altitude. This is Santa Claus at the North Pole of the Earth inside of the celestial sphere. So this the celestial sphere surrounds the Earth and this is Santa at the North Pole of the Earth. When Santa looks around he sees that the celestial equator is actually around his horizon. So that constitutes Santa's horizon. And since the stars are going round and round his horizon like this, around Santa's horizon, none of the stars at the North Pole ever set. They just go parallel with Santa's horizon. Now Santa moves to the equator of the Earth. At this point Santa sees celestial equator at his zenith and he sees South Celestial Pole and North Celestial Pole if he just turns around. And so you can see North Celestial Pole and South Celestial Pole only from the equator of the Earth if you go on top of a mountain. As the Earth rotates Santa will be able to see the other half of the sky as well. So Santa at the equator will have the chance to see the entire sky. The only observer that can see the entire sky is at the equator of the Earth. This is me in San Diego, 32 and a half degrees north. So Santa is at 90 degrees north latitude. This Santa is at zero degrees latitude. I am at 32 and a half degrees latitude my horizon looks something like this. So how many degrees above my horizon is North Celestial Pole? Well since I live in San Diego 32 and a half degrees north we can say that my the North Celestial Pole is about 32 and a half degrees above the horizon. So we can say the altitude of North Celestial Pole or South Celestial Poles on Earth are the same as the observer's latitude. San Diego latitude is 32 and a half degrees. Therefore, in San Diego, North Celestial Pole is 32 and a half degrees above the horizon. Now we also see some of the southern sky. This is the southern sky and we see some of it. How much of it do we see? Well, all we have to do is to subtract our latitude from 90 degrees and then we can find out how many degrees of southern sky is visible from San Diego. So in San Diego, 90 minus 32 and a half gives us 57 and a half degrees of the southern sky. From Santa's location, he sees 90 minus 90, zero degrees of the southern sky. From this location, at the equator, Santa sees 90 minus zero, that means 90 degrees of the southern sky. So all of the southern sky is visible to Santa at the equator. This is another view of Santa at the equator of the Earth. So there is zenith and north celestial pole at Santa's zenith. 
This is a celestial equator, which is also Santa's horizon. This is an observer at the equator of the Earth. And what she sees is North Celestial Pole at the horizon because her latitude is zero degrees. And so North Celestial Pole will be zero degrees above her horizon. She would also see the celestial equator at her zenith. This is an observer in San Diego. Again, this is the location of North Celestial Pole, which is 32 and a half degrees above the observer in San Diego. And the observer can also see some of the southern sky below the horizon. So this is the situation in San Diego. There is North Celestial Pole. This orange is the horizon in San Diego. This is Santos horizon. So this is Santos horizon. This is our horizon. From our location in San Diego, we can see North Celestial Pole again, 32 and a half degrees above our horizon. We can also see 57 and a half degrees of the southern sky here. From this location to here is 57 and a half degrees of southern sky. This much of southern sky is going to be forever invisible. It's going to be below our horizon. So these are the formulas. 90 minus our latitude is equal to how many degrees of southern sky is visible from San Diego.